Hello and welcome to another edition of Health Fox. We're here today in front of the New Yorker Hotel where the New Life Expo is held twice a year and will be here again very soon. One of the featured speakers at the expo is Victor P. Kolvinskis, a true pioneer in nutrition, enzyme research and living foods. And we have a special treat for you today because Victor has agreed to be on our show and we're going to take you into one of his workshops where you'll see this dynamic speaker in action. So, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the show. And remember to tell your friends to join us every week on Health Box. Be on this planet. The discussion today will be on you thing and coming back to our innocence, coming back to our childhood, coming back to a place where boundless energy, wellness. We are living at times when even Dr. Mercola.com, who is so conservative on an inner space has stated that the leading cause of death in the United States is the medical service provided. Just from infections alone, we are seeing over 100,000 individuals die yearly. That's equivalent to on a daily basis Four jumbo jets crashing on a daily basis. Major mistakes are being made within the medical community. They are providing exceptional service in breast augmentations, face enhancements. And if you get into an accident, you are in the right country. They'll put you back together. But when it comes to degenerative disease and wellness, you have to turn to alternative medical community. Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine has over 4,000 MDs who have taken the posture that not only vegetarian diet is adequate, but anything contrary to a vegan diet is contrary to good health practices. Their research also showed, as an example, that milk, average consumption of milk, is a higher contributor to breast cancer or lung cancer than, the cons than smoking cigarettes. Pasteurized dairy products is one of the worst things that you could put into your mouth. Our foods that are being consumed are altering Physiology, you're seeing 70% of Americans are overweight, 40% are obese, 30% of our children are like that. It is because we have, moved for, we have moved out of whole foods into processed foods, and prior to that, more primitive wild foods, and then more before that, the consumption of enzymatic foods. We are seeing even as I mentioned again, Mercola has taken the posture, which is a reflection of the research that has been done in Sweden as an example, that shows that 
heat-treated foods are predis pre heat-treated foods predispose you to all forms of degenerative diseases, whether you're looking cardiovascular diseases, you're looking at cancer, you're looking at arthritis. Basically, what happens? The food goes through fragmentation under the laboratory-like chemistry of all the gadgetry that we have in our kitchen or in the restaurant kitchens. The food goes through fragmentation. Hundreds of thousands of new chemicals are formed within the process of cooking that your enzymatic system is totally at loss on what to do with this food, what to do with this nutrient. As a result, the immune system becomes hyperactive. You see a rise of white blood cells four to six hundred percent after a traditional meal. And the white blood cells attack this food no differently than an invasion of viruses or chemicalized ingestion. It has to challenge this incompletely metabolized fragments of food and break them down into something either it can excrete easily out of your system or else convert it into something that it might be utilizable as nutrients and building blocks and a source of energy. We are stressing. University of Chicago in their studies showed that over 80% of the caloric energy that is in food is not available for physiological work. Enzymatic exhaustion. The starches and the fats are not being converted to calories. Basically, they end up as morbid obesity, growing bigger and bigger. Dr. Sumner, a Nobel Prize recipient and an enzymologist, stated that if you, you have that fatigue, aging feeling, it is more likely than not you are part of the colony of not only enzymatic exhaustion, where his research shows that by that age, and now it's happening earlier and earlier, namely amylase, the start-splitting enzyme, is basically absent in most people's chemistry. They are not digesting starches successfully. And the commercials for all kind of alkalizers, Rolaid, Tums, then acid reflux. It is spreading like crazy. And ulceration due to souring, acidification, and fermentation that is taking place of the starch with the red sauce or starch with acid in the meal or the mere fact that you are enzymatically inadequate in your amylase levels. And of course, Enzymes are only found in raw foods. And if you are going to try to rely exclusively on the salads and the fruit for enzymatic support, you are not going to get it. What has happened? Within the last century, we have demineralized the soil so extensively so that we have dropped, for instance, just according to Pfeiffer research, as well as biodynamic farms, They've shown that we have dropped our protein level from the grain as well as legumes to by, at, by about one, to about one third. In the past, the grains were about 40 percent protein and providing very high level of power and energizing of the libido. Presently, the grains are between 7 and 12 percent protein. Now, why? How is this related to enzymes? Well, all enzymes are protein. And if you've seen a radical drop in the protein level in the food, you've seen also a radical drop in the enzyme level. Because you will not have aggressive action taking place on you unless you yourself are inviting that. There are no accidents in this world. We create our future and our destiny. What happens in our lives, we have already asked for it as a, a way of altering our lives so that we can have some awakening and taking corrective steps. I was blessed with disease and ill health 
right up to the age of about 29, coming close to death. My hair was dropping out at a rapid pace. I even counted 400 a day. Oh, my God. I was going to be bald by the end of the year. That was 35 years ago. I had tumors. I had arthritis. My face was covered with pimples, oozing pus out of my shoulders, my face, and everything else like that. My joints were totally stuck where I had advanced arthritis. Now flexibility is pretty high for a 64-year-old man. In a way, the universe gives you an opportunity either check up your lifestyles or check out your lifestyles and go by way of the medical route which will use one drug after another, one surgery after another, until there's not enough body parts in you to keep and maintain life. What is fascinating is that the Surgeon General report, which was the consequence of the late President Johnson, who was shocked to discover that our nation had over 65% of Americans suffering from incurable diseases. And that was a long time ago, according to World Health Organization figures, and they have not gotten any better. Right now, old age diseases are affecting our young people, our teenagers and younger. About 40% of them are suffering from incurable diseases. Old age diseases of heart conditions, asthma, arthritis, rheumatism, arthritis, allergies. These are diseases that used to appear late in life. Now they're appearing early in life. Matter of fact, the diseases are such, and the malnutrition and toxemia is so severe that over 50, excuse me, over 40% of our population of reproductive age are sterile. Basically, we are moving rapidly into extinction. Now, they will, and to the point where talking about extinction, you know, you see right now on the Pacific Rim and few other scattered places, some weird new uh, flu epidemic is starting to surface. Well, Reader's Digest. In November 1999, a very conservative <laughs> magazine stated, right in the headline, it reads, when is the next great plague? It is around the corner. Because the immune systems are so severely compromised due to the environmental pollution, dietary pollution, emotional stress, there is no inner peace. So within a world of this sort, the Surgeon General report, which was a, close to a thousand page of research data trying to respond to what, why are we such a sick nation as such, they came to the conclusions which was written up right in the beginning of the textbook. You might say the genesis, a summary. And they said, Dr. Kopp, who himself was a physician and a head of a medical school department. He stated that do not anticipate any do not anticipate any help as far as wellness is concerned from your doctors, from your hospitals, or from any major breakthrough in scientific research, like all this gene splicing as an example. The whole issue resides on five personal lifestyle habits, your diet, your exercise, the amount of rest that you're getting, the kind of environment within which you live, and your attitude toward life. Five, that was a holistic model as one could possibly cut it. Hope. <laughs> So here we are, we're here with uh, David, Dr. David Jubb, PhD, one of the most incredible people you will ever want to meet with the most profound knowledge on nutrition and health. 
And Dave is giving a workshop here today called uh, Becoming a Medical Intuit. Uh, what exactly is a medical intuit, David? A medical intuit really is someone who can scan a body auditarily or scan the image of the person uh, and they're, they're applying their intuitive self uh, to read the person as a whole. Um, I recommend that all doctors become uh, intuitive on this level rather than reading something, you know, they t looked at something and then they looked up something in a book. This is like uh, 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 definitely uh, less than sensory based. <laughs> could, um, could anybody become a medical intuit or is, is it special, uh, for special training? Any person can become a medical intuit. But it was amazing in the very beginning of the program we talked a little bit about how it was that somebody can be given a potato and a straw and they can say, gosh, put that straw straight through the potato. And some people can do that. These are people that generally kind of for some reason they have a better ability just to, to take things on like this than others who may be thinking about it. But we talked mostly in our workshop today, it was mostly really about clearing away thinking and having more access to this other aspect of ourselves, which really is aware of everything very richly. But when we enter into our mind to think about all of uh, we can often be other than in the remaining in this place, which we don't really have to learn anything. We just have to clear away some things to be able to be this. Because plenty of us listening today uh, and watching this program, I'll bet many times over you have been intuitive and you can give me examples of where you've been intuitive and you don't know why that was so. You just had a feeling about things, but this is true. No, we, we, we recommend that people are much more focused on their intuitiveness when they're connected with somebody than the, the seven plus or minus two chunks of information that somebody's conscious of. Well, that's great. And let me say, David has a mind of information. He's really one of the extraordinary people here in New York City. And where could people find you, David, if they want to find out more about this? Uh, people can immediately go to lifefood.com. Uh, and you can, you can click on the front page where it says 14-day live food nutritional fast. That will hyperlink you to a concept paper. Um, you can copy this concept paper at your leisure to be able to learn more. You can um, you could come down to Jobs Longevity or you could call 212-353-5000, 212-353-5000. Come through um, and um, you could get questions answered about things. Um, we make ourselves available to people and generally when anybody does a session with us we're able to answer more questions generally than what most people actually would answer um, and we make support statements uh, for the person that's, uh, that's connecting with us and people feel more confident after uh, having connected with us. We're really good with people because we really care about you. Right. And that's great to hear. So I'm Kevin Schuker from the New Life Expo here in New York City. So here I am, I'm here with William, and we're at a very interesting booth where we have vessels here that uh, are very similar to a singing, what we call a Tibetan singing bowl, was made out of brass, but these are made out of crystal, so, uh, quartz crystal. So William, can you tell us a little bit about these bowls? What, what's so special about them? What's so special is with the quartz crystal is it allows us to entrain to the frequency of the crystal because we're crystalline in structure also so it allows us to entrain to that vibration and also within that we start to release and also become aware of areas in our life that were maybe out of balance to hopefully tune that in instead of using the mental process you're tuning into your own higher self and bringing in that information that best balances with your energy field okay. um, I see that would you say that you you play this is this an instrument or is this a healing modality it's a sacred instrument yes and it plays and you you chime it and it goes around the edge the top edge and it creates friction and because of the nat the quartz they're 99.9% .9 pure quartz and for instance this is rose quartz bowl mixed with quartz so it's a rose quartz mixed with the quartz and it actually emits you can actually feel the love vibration from the stone, which is so beautiful. As before, we've never been able to feel the vibration fully, but now you can actually physically feel, and different stones do actually resonate it. a lot of times what they uh, have been put out in the different groups. Yeah, I can actually feel myself tingling a little yeah. bit here as I stand here next to you. Definitely. It heats, it heats energy, it moves the energy, it creates movement. It's very good feng shui to have these in the house. Also, very transformational. So I recommend that you share them with your friends and your family so you all lift together vibrationally. Right. Yeah, that's excellent. And how are these made? Are these carved? Or are they, it's actually, it? um, they're molded at 4,200 degrees. So it's a very technical process because we use no uh, lead and, we, and it's all 99% pure quartz. So that's why it's so difficult to... There are a lot of times people say they're a little costly, but it's the production process that's so expensive. And I see we have a, a different types here, different colors. We have different shapes. Um, are, 
What, what is the significance of the colors and the shapes? The different colors and the shapes are, for instance, we have 24 karat gold with the quartz, and the 24 karat gold is actually working with the third eye and the crown, but also bringing the energy into the body. So it's more like ancient alchemy, ancient Egyptian alchemy. And then we go into the platinum, which is more of a balancer with the metal. So what we're doing is more of a alchemic process with the quartz, with the sound, vib the vibration of the sound. And second of all, with all the different styles we have available, a lot of people have anywhere from three to 20 bowls, depending on how serious they are with the product and also if they're using it in their practice. And also a lot of times what happens is, is people have such transformational shifts with this item that it's like they're guided to use it. It's not even, a, it's different than a normal item that you would use. And like I said, I call it a sacred instrument because it is very unique to any instrument you'll ever use because we have an affinity to quartz. We are a crystalline in structure also, and that's what makes it so unique. Mm -hmm. And they're, for instance, they're a transmitter. They transmit, so a lot of people use them for intention. Right now it's really important because people are releasing their, their fear and they're using the bowls to help release the fear and to tune into the higher frequency on what this is really about, the big picture. Absolutely. I've had a little experience. I've been to a few places where people have played the bowls for me. I've played them myself. And each time I can say it's been quite extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And it has to really be experienced to really be appreciated. Yes. So um, how could anybody uh, contact you should they want to find out some more? Um, they can just call us at Crystal Tones. That's my company. And they can go to crystalsingingbowls.com or they can go to 1-800-358-9492 and they can just give us a call or they could email william at crystaltones.com too. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, William. We've really enjoyed it. This little brief information about crystal balls. Like yes. I mentioned to you too. There is a doctor here in New York City. Here we have a book by uh, Dr. Mitchell Gaynor. This is a very important book. You were the Healing Power of Sound. And this is actually a Western medicine doctor working with it here in New York City with the bowls and actually training doctors and therapists all over the world on how to use this product in Western medicine. And it's using a natural approach instead of using chemicals or drugs. Or what he does is he complements along with the chemo or for cancer patients or actually I find anybody that's out of balance that's using this product it helps us become more aware of areas that were out of balance intuitively and if we choose to of course it's our choice to change and we wholeheartedly agree with that so thank you very much thank William you. it's been a pleasure talk talking with you and we hope some of our viewers have got some out of this these beautiful uh, healing instruments that we have here Okay, and here we are at another booth here at the New Life Expo, and here with Dave Hall, who is one of the greatest pioneers in uh, lymphatic stimulation and the technology and the health benefits of it. And he has them, what I, I've been walking around here today, and I saw the most amazing thing, and I'd like David to share it with us. So, Dave, would you like to share what you've got here in this, this little bag on wheels here? You bet, Kevin. I'd love to do it, and I appreciate you taking the time. This is the new trifold cellar sizer. It's brand new. It just came out. What it does is a mini trampoline, or I call it a cellar sizer, that fits into this case. Very easy to open up, very easy to travel with. In less time than it takes to put on a pair of running shoes, you open it up, pop it open, and you're ready to begin cellar sizing. That's it. Uh, the different routines that I do on it for strengthening. When I started, I'm, I'm 46 years of age right now. I don't lift any weights. You're amazing. You're amazing. This, this is it for the stomach muscles right here. Absolutely. This is it for the waist and the hips. This is what I do for the lower back and the buttocks. This one loosens the lower back, helps improve digestion elimination. This one I love because women have lost cellulite in their legs in as little as two to three weeks. You sit down like this and you just run in place. You don't have the jar to the knee, but it burns the thighs and the buttocks, and it helps people lose their gut, too, because these are the biggest muscles. Then this one here, side to side, hips, the inner outer leg, leg, both sides of the knee, very important. And then, Kevin, I challenge any ab machine on the market right now to do what I'm going to show you right now. Keeping my back straight, I bounce up and down like this, take away my hands. The only reason I'm moving is because of these stomach muscles. As I get stronger, I can lift up one leg. 
I leverage the weight right here. When the leg gets tired, lift up the other one. Eventually, you become strong enough, you can lift up both legs and bounce a little higher. Then, as you continue to get stronger, you can both sides of the obliques, or the ultimate in and out, up and down. I don't know of any setup that'll come close. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, we want to thank you for that little brief demonstration. I must admit, me too. I have one of these. <laughs> Look at that. I'm the same. Cool man. Appreciate it's an you. honor to meet you, and it's thank great you. to see you doing the great work. And we love this project. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. How can people contact you if they want to get in touch with you about this? I've got an 800 number. If they call 800-856-4863, 800-856-4863, and they mention your show, we will send them a free three-dollar catalog. That catalog goes through and explains what seller size is all about, how it works, some of the different benefits, testimonials, research material, and the features of the unit. That's for free if they mention your show. That's right. Well, thanks very much and that great offer. So I'm Kevin Chuker, and again, thanks to David, and we'll see you again soon. Today we've got an extraordinary special guest. We have Viktor Kolvinskas, a true legendary figure in the raw food movement. So, Viktor, welcome to New York, and I hear you're going to be running a workshop here today. Okay, can we just have one minute?